In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the use of transits with Panelist Raceway in a switchgear room on a water treatment plant. Transits are raceway components providing penetrations through walls, bulkheads and cabinets for multiple cables, while keeping out penetrants such as water, air, gas or fire. Transits provide a cost-effective, flexible and efficient alternative to most gland plate designs. In Panelders, I can construct a run of Smart Raceway, in this case a run of Cable Tray. I'm constructing a centre line and can then automatically trace a tray onto that line. The process for inserting Raceway is similar for trays, transits, conduits and trenches. These Raceway components are all smart in that they understand how cables can be routed through them as well as how they connect and must be filled. I'm going to start the raceway construction function. Let's accept the default settings from a tray, such as the tray tag name, part number and the dimensions. I'm now going to select the center line for my chosen tray. A smart run of tray is constructed and it uses a layer controlling its power segregation. Each section of tray is a separate object and could be either a prefabricated fitting or a linear run and is included in bill of material reporting. I'm now going to use the raceway construction function and add two new transits to the end of my tray run. I'm going to give the first transit a tag name. Just to note, I have the raceway constructor set to insert a linear section of tray. Transits are represented in panel days as a linear section of tray. On the catalogue tab, you can select the exact component from a transit manufacturer. We can choose a transit from, for example, Hilti or Roxtech. I'm going to choose a 3-frame, 8-inch bolt-in-place transit. All of the dimensions are now loaded and any library blocks are linked. I just press the Construct button to return to my CAD model and drag the transit into place. I'm using Object Snap to snap it to a location and panel des draws the transit. I'm going to repeat the process, but this time I'm going to use a two-frame 8-inch bolt-in-place transit. The transits are realistic, uniquely tagged, and they're very smart. Every transit understands how many frames it contains and the internal sizes of each frame. Every frame understands how many rows of ceiling blocks it can contain and which sizes of those blocks can be placed in the frame. Every ceiling block understands which cable sizes it can accommodate. Panelist Raceway can prepare the plan for filling a transit, produce a 2D cross-sectional layout of the plan, and report for all blocks and cables in the plan. As with all good demonstrations, I've already added several transits into my model earlier. These have all been positioned in line within my raceway network so that my cables will flow through them during routing. On this model, the transits are positioned on the exterior wall of my switchgear room. I'm now going to use the Paneldez automatic routing tool to route approximately 180 cables through my raceway network. As one of our customers noted recently, it's just like Google Maps, but in 3D. In Paneldez, I'm presented with a list of cables to route. Currently, these cables have neither a length nor a route. I'm going to use the Route All function to route the cables in the list. About five seconds later, all 180 cables are routed, which, just out of interest, means my laptop is routing 36 cables a second. The router concludes by reporting the calculation statistics. For example, there are 1,247 pieces of raceway in the model, and the deepest search was 288 steps. All cables now have lengths, routes, and a status of routed. I'm now going to get panel desks to construct the cables so I can inspect and check them. With a large complex model, Navisworks is the best tool for checking cable routes. As a general tip, routes are best checked with small batches, for example, 10 to 20 cables. 
Let's now zoom in and inspect the transits. My feeder cables are nicely routed through the incoming transits. My load and control cables are routed through transit RX9 and RX10. RX10 frame 1 is very full. We'll take a closer look at the 3D modeling later with Navisworks. I'm now going to change to paper space and construct a couple of 2D transit cross-section diagrams for the cable installers. PanelDesk provides an automated function for creating a 2D view of the filled transit and of course 2D views of any other tray or duct. Before construction, I just need to confirm the construction scales and other parameters such as layers and colors. Let's select RX10. I just need to select the center line and the end from which I want to view the cross section. I'm now going to drag RX10 into position. The cables are drawn just as they would be placed in the transit. The circles represent the cable diameters, not the block size. I'll now select RX8. I'm going to position RX8 to the right of RX10. The cables are indexed on the diagram and detailed on the right side of the construction. During the cable routing process, a transit report is made, and this informs you of the layout and other details for every transit and frame in the project. Every section identifies the transit name. I've highlighted RX1, and after a hashtag, I find the frame name, for example, 1N or 2N. The dimensions of the transit are included. For each row of blocks, the block size, number of cables, spare blocks and cable names are reported. For each cable, the diameter is reported. Finally, the calculated fill percentage is reported. Now if you recall RX8, in the first frame we had quite a few cables. RX8 is 44% filled with 25 cables. RX8 only uses 15 mil and 30 mil blocks. Let's now take a look at the model in Navisworks. Let's first of all take a look at the tray run I created at the start of the demo and the two transits I inserted. Remember, this only took about a minute to construct. Let's now take a look at the transits RX8 and RX10 and the cables routed through them. Note how the 3D model of each frame is laid out exactly the same as with the 2D cross sections. Now let's take another look at the race wind cables, but this time with the civil or structural part of the model hidden. The auto routing, auto filling and the transit calculator do millions of calculations and checks for you during the panel as raceway cable management. For more information, go to www.electes.com.